This video will go through the process of how you would schedule an exam using the Examity Remote Proctoring System. So, the first thing we'll do is in your class, you will go to Modules. Your professor will tell you exactly where to find this, but in this particular case, we have an Examity link down at the bottom of our Modules area. I'm going to click on Examity and then click on load examining a new window and now I will be able to click on the link to schedule an exam now to review you should have already set your profile up before you do this that's the first thing you should do so that you can actually be ready to go in and take your exam if you haven't done that I would go ahead and do that first but now that we're ready to schedule an exam we simply click on the schedule exam link and we're presented with a calendar and at this point you just need to decide well, what day and time do I want to take my exam. Now, for this particular video, the current day is Friday, October the 4th. So let's assume that I want to take my test on my exam tomorrow on the 5th. And I want to take that exam. So notice I click on the 5th here, and then I've got my list of times, and I want to take my exam at 10 a.m. So I double click on 10 a.m. Then I select my course. I would then select my exam. Let's assume lecture test four here. And there's my date and my time. I can make changes here to those to the date and the time if I choose to. I click next. And if all this information is correct, I click confirm. Notice now that I've gotten an error message here that I have scheduled an exam within 48 hours of the current day. Now that's, you can do this, but normally it's going to give you an error because normally you need to schedule your exams uh, further than 48 hours out and that's so that examinee can schedule their proctors uh, efficiently. But suppose that I do need to take this exam on Saturday. There is an option for you to be able to do that. Notice up here in the upper right, we have on-demand scheduling. Now, if I turn on on-demand scheduling and I go ahead and reschedule this exam for Saturday, it will work. But what you need to know is there will be a fee that you will have to pay, and you'll have to have a credit card ready to do this because you'll pay right here online for the ability to take this exam uh, in a closer time period than 48 hours. Well, let's assume that I don't need to take my exam within 48 hours, so I can go ahead and turn on demand scheduling off. In this case, let's suppose I, I, I go ahead and back my time to take the test until uh, Monday, October the 7th. So clicking on that date, and then going back and double clicking on 10 a.m., I'll again select my course. I'll then select my exam, and click Next, and click Confirm and my exam is scheduled. Now, suppose that you would uh, you need to come back at some point and you decide that this time and, and date and time is not going to work for you. And how do you do that? Well, notice up here on our menu at the top, we have a reschedule or cancel. So if I decide I want to reschedule this exam to another time or I want to cancel this exam, I'll simply click on reschedule cancel. And notice there's the exam that I just scheduled. I can click on the link to reschedule and cancel it, or cancel it. And I can come here. If I just want to cancel the exam, all I have to do is click the red uh, X button right there. That will cancel the exam. If I want to reschedule it, I simply double click on the exam. And I make the changes right here, clicking next and then confirm. So that is all you have to do. Suppose I want to change the time to uh, 11 o'clock. Well, then come in here. <clears throat> Select 11 o'clock, if that is a free time. Click Next, click Confirm, and I've rescheduled my exam.
I'm going to walk you through the validation process and this should take about five minutes. And have you taken an exam with us before? Yes. Great. All right. Then we'll go through this quickly and get you right to your test. But then if you have any questions during the test, you can ask me directly or reach our support team. Okay. Okay. And can you please show me the government issued photo ID you used while registering for examity? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, can you please uh, bring it closer to the camera so that I can see the name and the photo clearly? All right. Thank you so much. Of course. And now I'm going to read you the list of exam rules. Please let me know you understand by saying okay after each rule and asking me to repeat anything that isn't clear for you. Okay. Well, you must be alone in the room throughout the test. Okay. You must have a clear desk and workspace. Okay. Your computer must be connected to a power source. Okay. The use of headphones is not allowed. Okay. No phones may be used during the test. Okay. You can't leave your seat during the test. Okay. No dual monitors. If you have one, please unplug it now. Okay. I must be able to see you for the duration of the test. Okay. Your webcam speakers and microphone must remain on for the duration of the test. Okay. Okay. And uh, now I need to see your desk and workspace. So can you please rotate your webcam 360 degrees so that I can see the area around you? Of course. And I do want to just, I had brought in just tissue paper. I have mm -hmm. a stuffy nose just in case, but it sure. is. Oh, no problem. I haven't written anything on No it. problem. <laughs> and before that, I have some additional rules from your instructor. All right. Uh, the scrap papers are allowed and uh, the question mark uh, perception online testing software will be used. The first logon will prompt the student to enter their student number. There is no password for this logon. The second mm -hmm. logon is where the proctor will enter the monitor username and password. The proctor should enter this information and not reveal it to the student. Okay. Okay, great. Now, can you please show me your uh, work area? Yes, and it is a little awkward because it's a laptop, but okay, <laughs> I no should, problem. I'll try and show everything. Okay. And then I'll continue to rotate. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and can you do a 360 degree pan for me, you know, towards your left hand side as well? Of course. All right, Try that's to fine. Plugged in, so it's a little awkward. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Ah. <laughs> yeah, back to me. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Now, I need to see your desk. It needs to be clear except for any material specifically allowed by your instructor. Okay, that was the tissue and then my ID, chapstick, mm -hmm. water, mm -hmm. and then that's just, I can take that off. That's a table liner. Yes, can you please do that? <laughs> yeah, there, it's gone. All right, thank you so much. Of course. Okay, great. Now we're done with the verification process. Now you would see a blue color next button on your screen. Can you please go ahead and click that? The next button and answer the three security questions. And now please agree to each part of the user agreements on the screen. Okay. And click submit. All right. 